This week, I'm going to show you how to build a sound-activated power outlet. This will let you control appliances by making noises in certain patterns. The circuit for this project is divided into three main parts. A small microphone assembly detects any nearby noises. Next, an Arduino microcontroller determines if the sounds match the program pattern. If the pattern is correct, a relay driver circuit then activates the appliance. The code for this project is largely based on the secret knock detecting projects by Steve Hofer. You can find the secret knock gumball machine in Make Volume 25. First, I prototype the circuit on a breadboard using LEDs to monitor the input and output. Then, I solder the microphone assembly and the relay driver onto a perf board. Now we need to install the parts inside an insulated project enclosure. First, I used hot glue to secure the boards to the base of the housing. Then, I cut slots in the side of the housing for the power cords and the switch. I used more hot glue to help hold these in place. Now just close up the housing and you're ready to try it out. Plug an appliance into the female end of the power cord and clap out the coded pattern. If the pattern is correct, the appliance should turn on. You can activate the switch with any loud noise. For example, you could knock on the floor or the wall next to the sensor, or you could even whistle. To adjust the sensitivity, you can change the threshold value in the code. In some cases, you might need to drill additional holes in the side of the housing so that the sound can better reach the sensor. The Arduino also lets you program how the appliances will turn on and off. For instance, you can use it to reset your router by turning it off for 10 seconds and then automatically turning it back on. But the best part about this design is that you can control multiple outlets independently just by setting up different patterns for each one. This project is a fun way of remotely controlling your appliances without ever needing to actually have a remote. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.